So if we go back to functions.php here uh, on get random string, I've just remembered that I'm not returning anything from here. So at the end of the day, after all this, I'm supposed to return a value. So return text right there. Okay, so that's why it was empty, right? Okay, so let's go back and give it another spin from here. And I'm confident it's going to work now. Okay. All right, so let's give it another spin. Resend. Boom. Oh, there we go. So there's a URL address now. Random string. Let's go here and refresh. And voila, we have managed to save something in the database. Okay, great. And now let's come back here. So let me remove all these uh, die, die, die. Okay, there we go. Header, upload file. Yeah, it's fine. Database, remove that. Okay, so now that we are able to save something, let me put uh, some code for the database read part so that we can return something here as well. Okay. So the process is practically the same here. Uh, if we are reading from there, same issue here. And so if check, mm -hmm, what I can do here is, uh, right, this makes it a little bit complex because check here will going, is going to contain the data if this runs through here. But here, it's the statement that needs to that will get that. Oh, I'm not really sure about this, but uh, I think it should probably go this way. Statement and then uh, statement query. I don't know. We'll see. If it creates an error, then we'll, we'll do it the other way around. All right. So let me go back here and there and then finally check if this is true let's return something so we're going to return a statement fetch all get everything and we want it in form of a pdo um, what is that one it's fetch under underscore obj like that. I want an array of objects. So that's what I would return here. Okay, great. Things are looking up. So that's it for our database class and the uploader right here. This is awesomeness. Uh -huh. Okay, great. So let's go through our folder and see what we've uploaded so far. Okay, so we've uploaded these three images. This is great. So let's try and upload something else. Uh, let me go back here. Document expired, of course. Let me refresh from there. Uh -huh. Now I can do a second image so that at least I have two images here. And now I will find a different image like uh, this one and upload. Okay, great. But why isn't it taking me away from here? Oh, uh, it's supposed to go header. Where is this inside the controller? Okay, not this one. Just the upload image. Do, 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 do. Which controller is this? Upload. There we go. So image. Model. Upload. Mm -hmm. So everything seems fine. And at this point, it's supposed to relocate. Oh, it's taking us to, it's supposed to take us to photos. So why are we not at photos? Let me see if everything went well. We should have two records now. And it seems we don't actually have two records. We try one more time. Man, upload. Oh, there we go. It has worked this time. Uh oh. Okay, so we've uploaded several images now. Go back to... So we need a link to take us to 
upload images right we can put it right in the header by just copying um, contact here so let me go to the header where is this uh, catalog uh, not in the assets folder but in the views folder catalog and then uh, header so down here i can simply duplicate one of these Oop, like so and then change some stuff to upload upload image and here as well upload underscore image the name will be upload image so once I refresh now, I have a new position in the header there, which is nice. So if I click on there, I go to, I'm supposed to go to upload images. So why am I not go upload image? Oh, it's actually supposed to be, supposed to take me to upload slash image. Okay, so that's the link. Click on it. There we go, upload image, okay my other image like that browse let's find another image here we can uh, uh, add so maybe that one upload and there we go so the reason I'm, I'm I set it to send us here it's because now we can see the image right here so let's create let's actually change this to read from the database instead of just putting images here